everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for joining me today. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I wanted to show you how to make these fun and uh, just bright and cheery cards, birthday cards. I'm using the pattern play um, for the sentiments and this little, I'm going to call it confetti. And then there's coordinating um, alphabet dies, and these are great. They have uh, a couple of letters are duplicated, and um, you can just spell out really anything you want with these. They're really great. So I actually took out my letters um, for this card, and they're in here so that it makes it easier um, to find them for this video. So I'm going to just put that aside. The, the main focus is um, this beautiful glimmer paper. It's called Rainbow Glimmer Paper, and it just kind of... Um, fades right into the next color. Really beautiful. So these cards I made with um, this part of it, and that's Mellow Mambo and uh, the new Magenta Madness, and that's what I used for the paper here. For this one, I wanted to make it a little brighter, so I used Daffodil Delight. So I just took the positive and the negative and made two cards, kind of for the price of one. So this next card, we're going to use Granny Apple, Granny Apple Smith and Granny Apple Smith, Granny Apple Green. <laughs> I've got apples on my mind, um, and the. Uh, Coastal, no, Bermuda Bay. I always get Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana confused for some reason. So we're going to do this part of it. Um, so I have my pieces cut out, and we're going to um, just go ahead and get started. Um, let me just get my pieces here. So this is for the one card, and then this is for the second card. We'll put this aside. The first thing I'm going to do is just start lining up my letters. And I wanted to do this on my plate for my big shot so that it would be easy um, to just pick it up and move it. I didn't want to put it down and then have to shift the paper. And what I did was I, um, and I, I did this to save the paper. I was thinking, well, I'll just keep this as a layer and, and use the middle of it. And then I thought, well, I could just save. You have to save all these little inside pieces and then just um, glue them down. Pretty easy. So let's get the uh, the letters going, and I'm going to do it this way with the, the green up top. And I started with birthday. Um, so let me just get these letters up. And you have to play with it to get it to all fit in here. And you could put a um, post-it note or, or something over it to keep everything in place. And if you don't have enough letters, what I did was I substituted the letter just to get my placement. So I don't want to use the H because I'm going to use the H for happy up here. So I have a K. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to cut it. So I'm going to actually keep it this way so I remember not to, to cut with it. And that will just help with the placement. And then we'll put the D you do, do get two A's, so um, I could use one for happy and, and day. And then uh, I only have one Y, so I'll substitute up above. So you just kind of get them where you want them. And they cut really nicely. Okay. Move that up a little bit, and then we'll do the happy. And I want to have this, you do get two P's unless one is a D. <laughs> I'm not sure, but they look the same to me, so they worked. And then the A. So I wanted to do the birthday so I could um, easily um, center the happy, if that makes sense. And kind of get the whole thing lined up here. And then I have a V instead of the Y, you know, again for placement. So I'm going to just step away for a minute, run this through my big shot, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I ran it through. I had to run it through the second time to get the, um, the Y and the H. So there's all my pieces, and then this is the negative. So we'll put the negative aside and we'll use that for the other card. Um, 
but I want to make sure that I save all my pieces. So I'm going to just put them in here with my letters just while I'm doing the, the first card. So if you lose these, you can cut them again, but you have to make sure that you're getting on the right color area. Um, so it's best if you just save them. This is the inside of the A. They're a little bit tiny. Um, the B has a couple. And let me get these letters out here. Another A and the R. But they're really pretty. Um, this glimmer paper is really what makes the whole card. I think it'd be fun really for anyone, a kid, an adult, anybody. So I have my D, my A, my R, my B in there. So I'm going to put this aside to save it. So now I'm going to get my pieces out and I want to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to do that in the um, Granny Apple Green. And so I want to get placement for my, my sentiments. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm sorry, sent, for the happy birthday part of the sentiment, I should say. So the first thing I want to do is just lining this up on the grid paper so I can see where I'm going to stamp it and that it's straight. So I'm going to just come down to the corner here. Okay. Oh, I got a little ink up there. Let's flip it over and try again. Just want to make sure I'm not. Oh, see, I do have ink up here. All right. Let's make sure this works. No rocking and rolling here. Okay, so that looks good. Um, let me put my ink away. And then we're just going to start laying out our letters. Now you can draw a line so that you're straight. I just wing it. Um, that's just what I do. Uh, the other tip is to make sure you're getting um, the letters that are the same, like the Y, they'll be more of a green one. Sorry, my phone, uh, I got a, um, an alarm that I didn't realize I had on. But anyway, the, the Granny Apple Green, the Bermuda Bay, so you want to make sure that you don't have the wrong color in the wrong word. So I'm just going to lay down um, the birthday letters and get them all in line. And they are, you know... You just have to um, take your time and be patient. Um, and this would be great, actually, if you had the, I, I don't have it with me, but if you cut them with the adhesive sheet behind it, you could just peel off the sheet once you had them in line and um, they would just stick right down. I'm going to be gluing them down. And you know me and my glue, I love it, but... Uh, doesn't always work out for me the way I want it to. <laughs> so hopefully this will work out. So birth day. And then once you get it across, you can kind of shift it if it's too, too long or too short on one end. And then you can do the happy again so that you can um, fit that in and, and make it centered. And I actually um, used my, let me just get it. One second. Here it is. I used it when I was uh, cutting the letters, just to help move them move him around a little bit. So I think I want it over here a little. Shift them a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. I guess it's a little bit off here. So let's shift everybody down. And then we'll do the happy above. And the H's, you don't want it to go like this. You really, I think it looks better this way. But isn't that pretty just right off the bat? H A 
PTY. Okay, and the one thing good about the liquid glue is you can you have a little bit of time to shift it. So if you do use that adhesive sh strip, you have to be right on it perfectly. Okay, that's good. I'm going to probably speed this up. What I'm doing is I'm using my liquid glue. I'm going to pick it up. Oops. My goodness. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm going to pick it up with this and then glue it down. Uh, just to, to get it so it doesn't shift. Okay, <laughs> we're done with that. It takes a little bit of time, but you get it. And, um, you know, I got a little glue on my fingers, so I was moving the, the letters with my fingers. They were sticking to me, so I tried to use this a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to get the confetti going, and I'll do that in the Bermuda Bay. And I'll just, um, I'll just stamp around as I can. So I'll... Um, there's no right or wrong for this. Just stamp it, try to fit it where you can. You might have to turn it. I should have gotten one in there, but I'm okay with it. And just kind of go around the whole thing. And try to get good coverage. And I'll even go under here. I'm getting a lot of ink on my block. That could be dangerous. So I don't want to rock it, that's for sure. Okay. I think that looks good. We're leaving it. Um, actually, while I'm doing the, I'll do the inside while I have the stamps out. So, it's right here. And on this one, again, I did the, um, the sentiment. I'll do that in Granny Apple Green, and then I'll do some more of the so-called confetti. I I'll do it this way. It looks like it got bent a little bit, but I'll straighten that out when I put it down. I like this sentiment. Fill the day with all your guilty pleasures. What is your guilty pleasure? Chocolate, ice cream. So I'll just put that up here. I like to go a little bit toward the top so I can write the two and then just write a little note. And then we'll do more of the confetti. And I just did those in the bottom corners, bottom and top corner. Just very light, no biggie. And then we'll do some up here too. Okay. That looks good, so let's put these away before we get in trouble. And we can put our card together. So I have the Bermuda Bay is just barely popping out behind it, and then we'll put it on the card base. So let me get, I'm going to use the new um, Stampin' Seal. This is the regular one. There's a Stampin' Seal Plus, 
and it's uh, very strong like for boxes and 3d images but this one you take the top off and we'll just oops this is the back side um, where we made that mistake where I made that mistake I won't include you guys in it and we just want to make sure it's down right where it needs to be okay and then there's a little bit of a bigger border to the card base itself oops and this if you have a problem you just roll it with your finger and boom you're there again it's very easy it doesn't get all caught up like the old ones did where you had to open it up and unwind it and rewind it okay and then we'll do the inside and card number one is done now should i do card number two i guess i can i didn't know if it would take too long but I'll show you guys what I did with it. So that's this one. So the two different colors. I think they're both fun. And let's do this one now. So this was pretty easy. You just have to make sure you have your pieces. And I don't know if that's too dark. That's where I went with the, the, um, the lighter color in the back, Daffodil Delight. I may, I may go and get a lighter color, maybe Seaside Spray. So I'm not gonna make this, but I'll have it on my blog. Um, you can go check it out. I just think that's a little dark. I like it a little brighter. Um, so I, I'm going to get a blue that I think will go with this and put it behind it. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I think these are fun cards. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can email me, patty at pspapercrafts.com, or, or you can leave me a comment here. And if you like this, please um, check like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do two videos a week, and I'd love to have you watch and comment and shop if you uh, don't have a demonstrator. All right, thanks so much. Bye.